banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I have an incredible game in my hand for you today. This is Rival Schools 2 on the Sega Dreamcast, one of Capcom's most underrated fighting games. Shouldn't these kids be studying instead of fighting? School in Japan looks fun. Just look at these teenagers enjoying themselves, living active social lives, and kicking the crap out of each other with superpowers. When I was in high school, I just played video games and watched Star Trek. Rival Schools 2 makes it seem a lot cooler than that. This is known as Project Justice, in the US at least, so it does have a Western release that costs a lot of money. I can't comment on the differences between the two because I haven't seen the American one, but while this is a fighting game, here we have a feature which is like Sonic Shuffle or Mario Party. That's pretty much impossible to play if you can't read Japanese. I don't actually know what's going on, I'm just fumbling around with the controller. I'll get to fighting momentarily. Because that's why you want to buy Rival Schools 2. It's a great fighting game. The first one on the PlayStation was really good, and this one is even better. I'm not as familiar with the characters, so I'm going through some training to learn the moves. Because Rival Schools 2 is a challenging Capcom fighting game with a style that separates it from the Street Fighter series. And most of the other Capcom fighters. Instead of giant robots and Ken and Ryu, we have... This girl with a tennis racket. <laughs> Fighting this lady with purple hair, a face mask, and a chain. So this is what school in Japan is like. Man, I should have transferred. This looks way cooler than just falling asleep in study hall. <laughs> As you can probably tell, this is the Japanese version of Rival Schools 2. It looks great on the... Sega Dreamcast. It's got some interesting musical selections and lots of characters to choose from. I find it to be a very straightforward fighting game that's easy to pick up and play but really difficult to master. I think this one is actually more approachable than a lot of the other Capcom fighting games. You've got your basic complement of moves and special moves, and then you have a little power gauge down there at the bottom left or bottom right that fills up. And you can unleash some mayhem with the rest of your team that you're fighting with. There's a story mode and a free mode. In the story mode, you play as one of the rival schools and the characters who are in that school. Since this is in Japanese, and I didn't go to a Japanese high school, or else my life would have been like this. I can't follow the storyline, but the menus are still pretty easy to navigate. I feel like somebody should make a video game based on my high school experience. Watch Mark draw comics and attempt to buy beer for an exciting night of Herzog's Y on the Sega Genesis. Which is a pretty awesome time, actually. Come to think of it, maybe high school wasn't that bad. It certainly beats getting the crap kicked out of you by some maniac with a sword. I love that each of the characters has what I would consider like some sort of stereotypical high school um, role or whatever you would call it. Like the drama nerd, the swimmer douchebag, and the camera dork. I'm not sure who the chick in the lab coat is supposed to be. Maybe the hot TA all the boys have a crush on. In the free mode, you just pick whatever characters you want, team them up together, and then go fight. So there's lots of ways to enjoy the game. Oh, 
The fighting is fun, but I find it amazing how good this game looks. Just imagine if the Dreamcast had the same lifespan as the PlayStation 2, what the late Dreamcast releases would look like. Well, they would look like Stormwind, which looks pretty damn good. I think there's even a feature where you can create your own characters, but I did get stuck in menu navigation for that one. Getting to the fighting is easy, though. So I stuck with the characters that they gave me. There's a lot of them, lots of different fighting styles, and tons of fun. And you know, when this game was new, it would have had online capability. That's right, you could have plugged your Dreamcast into the internet and played other human beings, probably with a great deal of lag and jerkiness. The Sega Dreamcast VMU card will save your high scores, and obviously you can invite a friend over and play two-player locally. That's the best way to enjoy these kinds of games anyway. Rival Schools 2 plays nicely with the Sega Dreamcast controller, even though the D-pad is not my favorite for these kinds of games. It still works reasonably well, and you'll use the triggers and button combinations to pull off the special moves. Now's the time to send a classic game room shout out and thank you all the way to John in Bournemouth, Dorset, England for sending Rival Schools 2 to the show. He apparently bought this in Germany and says it's Erdinger compatible. That's good. You don't want to play a game that's not Erdinger compatible. So thanks again to John, I'm enjoying this Dreamcast release a lot, and according to eBay, there's a bunch of Rival Schools comics and stuff out there too. If you want to learn more about the characters, the game is really fun and worth the above average asking price from what I can tell. So there you go, add another game to your Dreamcast collection. It's Rival Schools 2. Thanks again to John in England. 